Today I'm going to show you a very memorable recipe. This is the first recipe which I uploaded on Facebook during the height of the pandemic. This is called Kab Kab or they call this skipping in some parts of the Philippines. This is made with cassava. It's a very simple recipe and it's very delicious. It's just a little bit tedious to make. Let's get started. You need grated cassava, banana leaves, and latik. To make the latik, you need two parts of coconut milk and one part of Moscovado sugar. This is by volume, so it means if you have one cup of coconut milk, you need one half cup of Moscovado sugar. All right. Once you grate, after you grate the cassava, if your cassava is not very fine, if you don't use a fine grater, then you need to put this in a blender or a food processor until it's fine like this. I measure one fourth cup. One fourth cup. I put it in banana leaves. Banana leaves is 11 inches. And then I'm going to roll this out to make a 12, uh, to make a nine inch uh, round. But any, any size is fine. I put plastic, you can also put banana leaves, okay? I roll this out. Okay. This is 11 inches. I have a pattern which is 9 inches. I want to make this size, okay? So here, what I'm going to do is, you take this out, the excess. Take this out. Take this out. And patch it here, okay? Even if it goes out of shape once this is cooked. But for me, it's important that it's nice and round, all right? Okay, you can also do this. All right. Then, you can, as I said, it doesn't have to be perfect round. It's just the OC in me. All right. So we set this aside. You will notice after we um, dry, uh, after we steam and dry it. Uh, the round shape is not really very important, but I just, as I said, I just like to do it. Um, I just like to do it nicely. Okay, so you see we have some parts here, too long. So and then I just put that there. Here I have water. It's not really. Um, Boiling, it's just simmering. Then you slide this in. As I said, you can also steam it. When you steam, you can put one on top of the other. You will see how it changes color. Once it's everything is in this color, then you can take it out because it means it's done. Okay? Don't do that, huh? I intentionally do th did that to show you, but you can't do that because you will pierce the. Uh, cassava okay see you can take this out now this is done so here this is how you take this out you get a plate like this see it's easy and then you can put one on top of the other and then we continue after we finish cooking we're ready to dry so you put it on a rack like this. This time you need to separate them. Okay. Dry this under the hot sun for about one hour. After one hour, you peel off the paper. Sorry. After one hour, you can now peel off the banana leaves. So peel it off and then you continue to dry this. If you don't have space, you know what they do in the provinces? They have a clo uh, clothesline, yung sampayan ba? And then, they would hang this like this, with a uh, clothespin, okay? You can also do that. That one saves space. So it's like hanging your clothes. Okay, let's dry this and get back to this in an hour. All 
all right this one we've been drying this uh, remember I told you one hour earlier but today was not very hot so this is about two hours this is not yet dry huh but you can now remove this from the uh, banana leaves so what you do is you take this out and you continue to dry this okay because if because if you don't take out the banana leaves you'll not be able to dry the bottom portion uh, the back portion see oops make sure uh, you don't fold it because it's, it's going to stick it's very very sticky okay and you can continue to dry this by hanging this huh but usually after I remove the banana leaves I like to put it on the rack okay so we will dry this for a day of full Sun from one half kilo we will we were able to make seven of this so this is how it looks like after one day of full sun. See, they're very uh, dry and brittle now. What you can do with this, you can keep this in a covered container and you can keep it for as long as six months, okay? Fry as needed. I will, uh, you just fry as you need this, okay? So let's start to fry this. But before we do that, we need to make the latik. You mix together coconut milk and muscovado sugar. If you don't have muscovado sugar, you can use brown sugar. But you know, there's a very nice flavor from the muscovado sugar, which is uh, which goes very well with the kab kab or the kipi. So what we'll do is we wait for this to boil. Then once it boils, we will cook this at medium heat and continue to boil until the syrup is thick you can make latik in advance and just put it in the refrigerator and then just reheat it when you need it okay here it's boiling now so we lower the heat and you continue to boil until it's syrupy as I said it will take 10 12 minutes right until it becomes very thick here's our latik now it's nice and thick okay don't wait until it's very thick because as it cools down it will continue to thicken so see you can see there are big bubbles this is just my guide you see big bubbles which are boiling slowly because they're heavier now you heat the oil until about 350 degrees See how quickly it cooks. All right. This is like Copic. You can also cut this into small pieces. I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded. Here's our kab kab or our keeping. Then you serve this with the latik like this. Okay. A very cheap but very delicious snack. It's just labor-intensive. 